Okay, in this screencast we're going to have a look at how to add the blog application to our collaborative spaces for work with um, students or perhaps other teachers. A blog is like a web journal and it allows you to add a series of entries over a period of time and readers of that blog are able to comment upon those entries. And as we add a new entry, that entry goes to the top of the blog and previous entries are, mo are moved down the list. So the most recent blog entry is always at the top of the blog itself. Now on this uh, sample page here of a primary class home space, we can see that the blog has been used as a way for the teacher to communicate with um, students in the class, perhaps offering some further links or videos in this case that would support their learning um, around various areas of the curriculum. This um, blog is also intended to help students with things like their homework. It might inform them of special events or things that students need to remember. And as the year progresses, students may also be able to add their own blog posts for other students and the teacher to comment upon. So if we take a look at how to add our, a blog entry to a space, I'll just move to another space over here. And in order to add a blog, like all applications, we need to go down to the global navigation bar at the bottom and on the actions menu, we click on add applications and that leads us to the uh, applications menu. We can click on collaboration and the blog will appear in the list with the other collaborative tools or if we knew that we wanted to use a blog, we can just type it in that yellow text box and the blog will appear. So if we click and drag the blog over to our space and we want to drop it into the layout that has a fair amount of room, perhaps in this case 70% of the space there or at least half the page so that the blog has enough room to exist. Now that we've added that blog to the page it's just up to us now to add the first blog entry. Now at this point only the owner of a space is able to add blog entries. So this button here would only appear for the teacher or the owner of the space. So if we click on that add blog entry, it brings up the dialog box for us to add our blog entry. And we see that it asks for a title. So if this was the first one, we would probably call that a welcome message, a welcome to our blog. It also automatically dates and times when um, the blog entry was written and then underneath we get a standard um, toolbar there and, and many of these tools would be familiar to people as tools that they would see in Word. So we have um, a font selection menu here with um, just a, a few fonts there, a font size menu here, we have um, a text colour menu over here and the, the buttons over here for bolding, italicising and underlining and our justify buttons here. So all we need to do now is click in the box and we can begin to type our, our message to our students. So we might write something like welcome to our class blog for 2012. And then we would write, better if I spell it properly, we would write the message that we want our students to respond to and it might be that we put in some questions about their learning and ask them for a response to that or we might ask them to perhaps offer some links that they're aware of that would support um, classroom learning. Really the blog can be used in, in many different ways. So once we've added the text that we want all we need to do is highlight that text and we can then start to format that in traditional ways. So. I might pick Comic Sans, I might pick a little bit of a bigger size there and change the colour of that blog entry. So once I've written what I want to do, I can then save my blog and publish it on the page. And you'll notice that a draft has been saved on here. The, blog's, the blog application has automatic saving built in, which is a nice feature. So as we go down here, we can either save it as a draft if we haven't finished um, our blog entry and then return to that later or we can publish that blog entry. If we click on publish, there's our blog entry and now it's open for um, our students to come in and make comments on that. So if they wanted to make a comment, they would click on the comments um, button there 
and then if they were the first to do that they would click on be the first and then they're given a text box to write their comments. Once they've written their comment that would be displayed on the page along with their photograph and the uh, date and time at which they made that comment. So that's essentially how to add a blog to your collaborative space.